Bruce Lawn. Greg Locke, Pastor Greg Locke, has went viral yet again, and this time for apparently having what appears to be a literal witch hunt. So we're going to react to this video here in just a moment. If you guys don't know who uh, Greg Locke is, he is a pastor from somewhere in a non-coastal city of America where they turn up and weird things happen and i'm gonna play this video and give you guys my thoughts i have actually have not seen this so this is you guys are gonna get an authentic reaction to this situation of greg lock exposing six witches let's jump into it here we go we got first and last names of six witches that are in our church and you know what's strange three of you are in this room right now Whoa, this is intense. What was that? <laughs> what was that? This man was doing the uh, the Mary J. Blige dance. Three of you. <laughs> Burn them witches. <laughs> Three of you in the room right now. You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. Yo, I could do that accent forever. I'm not going to right I now because I don't want to offend anybody from the South. But if you ever get around me and I start getting a little loose, I usually will go into that accent. Devil worshiping Satanist witch, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. Is he going to dox these witches, Zach? I don't know. <laughs> you can't. All your names, all your last names, and we got an address for one of you. Just one. But the <laughs> other, we're working on the others. We, it's just, we had a time crunch to the sermon, and we only got one right now, but we're working on them, and we're coming for you. We got your social security number. We got your home address. We got your mama's address. I got we your got, debit card. I got your debit card. I got your PIN number. I got it all. <laughs> You so much as cough wrong, and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. I thought they were all about coughing over COVID. <laughs> you were sent to this church to destroy us. You were sent to this church to lure us in. You were sent to this church to cast spells. Listen, some of you been sick because you befriended that witch. I, I don't think that's how getting sick works. There's like viruses and like germs. Anyway. Two of you in my wife's ladies' Bible study, and you know who you are. Yo, they didn't infiltrate the Bible study? <laughs> I got to tell this story. Once upon a time, I we had this Bible study, and it was fire. It's like my accountability group. We would get together every Monday for years, like a decade. We'd go through, we would go through the Bible in a year. In, in this in this Monday group that I've been I had been doing this forever and around the year 2015 26 16 ish I finally went time full time with music and things started like popping off like like we were doing well we were traveling we was doing some business with some big companies so on and so forth and one of the brothers been coming to the Bible study Zach I'm not exaggerating six months this dude was coming to the Bible study for six months and he finally took me out to eat one day he said hey can we hang hang out for lunch and I'm like sure I remember telling my friends like yo this dude wants to hang out out, he better not be a rapper. I was like, he better not be a rapper. <laughs> and he took me out to eat and he sat me down and sure enough, he was a rapper and was asking me to sign him and jumpstart his music career. There you go. I was so triggered that I, I think I even roasted him I don't know if I like roasted him, but I definitely, not in Bible study, but after Bible study. I was like, man, you've been camping out for six months so that you could try to get on as a rapper. Yo, I feel Greg Locke's pain right now. There is nothing worse than feeling betrayed because somebody's infiltrated your Bible study with a hidden agenda. And in this case, a witch agenda. Okay, let's keep watching. And we gonna ask you to get out or I'll expose you in front of everybody. We got all six of their names. Like, were they practicing Wicca? Were they doing stuff with Ouija boards? Like, how does that, what does that mean confirmed? Like, how do you confirm a witch? Did they admit to being witches? I've, I've done a show in front of witches before. I did a show in Salem, Massachusetts. One of my first shows flying out. It's got to be like 2007, 2008. And I flew out and we did this show in this little small storefront 
church that was converted from an old bank account. It was it was kind of similar to Valuetainment's new podcast studio. <laughs> <laughs> and uh the the we performed at this bank in the mail in the middle of downtown salem massachusetts and i'm not exaggerating we performed for a crowd of three imagine having a drummer a dj and a rapper with a sound system in front of a bank that's converted into a church and you you, you you're rocking and there's three people there with a full-on sound system. Three people there. And at the end, we hung out, we met them, and we found out that two of them was a witch and one of them was a warlock. And we knew that because they confirmed their identity to us. They sat and told us, yeah, that's what we're on. We practice Wicca, da 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 And then that same night, uh, we took them to where they uh, hung the Salem witch. No, I'm joking. We didn't do anything. It was cool. <laughs> they, were, they were very friendly. Uh, but we actually did go, not with them, but we did go to where the Salem witch trials happened. And it was it was wild, like the, like the, like super creepy, eerie in the middle of the night. So I'm curious, like, how does someone get confirmed for being a witch if they're if they're they're admitting it or what what does it, what does he mean? Like, what does he actually mean by this? How do they get? How do they infiltrate so deep? You got to start running background checks, Pastor Greg Locke. Run their credit karma, something. Yes, they're trans union. First and last night, this chick is new to our church and don't know none of you. Yo, he has this like interesting Southern bravado charm that he communicates with. I understand why he's popular with his crowd. You got a choice. You can leave with your spells all by yourself. Or I'll show up next Sunday with a stage full of brooms and I'll give you one and I'll fly your tail up out of this place in the name of Jesus but we ain't playing your spell casting witchcraft nonsense sage burning games everybody okay <laughs> the witches are like nope and your little dog too you're out witch just to be clear I do think witches and demons and warlocks and all those things are real I do think there's demonic powers I'm not gonna lie to you he sounds rather paranoid here and I think it would be important to clarify what he means by witch like what are we talking about did they did they read Harry Potter and therefore they're witches or are these full-on witches and how did they infiltrate your church and what, like, and what is the definition? Or are they trolling the actual witches that came up just to mess with you? Because that would be kind of funny too if I'm keeping it a buck. But uh, this whole thing is really wild, and I don't know what to make of this. So I always hear him in the news. But this by far was like, wait a minute, he's going to what is he going to is he what is he going to do to these witches? And like, how do they get so much into the mix of? your church like how did they become members of your church i feel like there's some institutional breakdowns here if they were able to infiltrate your wife's bible study what do you think zach i mean i think i think like you know there's going to be practicing uh muslims practicing mormons they're going to go to church maybe they sneak into christian church and they want to figure out what's going on you know maybe these witches are just practicing witches and they're new to the faith they're like trying to, they're exploring, they're trying to figure it out, and they haven't uh, decided yet. That's an option. Why do we got to assume that we're burning them? Marilyn says, the Bible says to not suffer a witch to live. Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. Whoever leeth a beast shall surely be put to death. Exodus 22, 18. Of course, it's in the KJV. Okay, I'm not killing any witches. I don't think that part applies to those of us in the New Testament, Mary Lean, though I appreciate your seal and intensity. I think, I don't know if I appreciate it. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm a bit alarmed if you're, if you want to take that verse literally. The biblical way to handle it, if they are actual witches, I think will be to verify that they're witches and then to probably have them disfellowshipped or excommunicated if they're there causing division. If they are transitioning from Wiccan, they're trying to figure out their faith and that kind of thing. If they're coming from a different faith and that's their faith tradition. Whoa, Marilyn said the government should. You're tripping. You think the government should just, you know what happened at the Salem witch trials, right? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not killing witches and, and I'm not, uh, and I don't recommend you or the government do that. That's wild. No, 
Uh uh-uh. uh. If somebody's there and they're an enemy of the gospel, I think you need to get them out of there for sure. So if a witch is there, they're being disruptive, they're being divisive. I think you get them out of there. How do you deal with it? I don't. I, I think. I think you. It, it's a on a case by case basis. But Scripture gives us some guidelines with regards to how do you deal with who are divisive, people who are enemies of the gospel, who are causing and sowing division and confusion. I think there's scriptural mandates for certain things. I don't know if the way Greg Locke communicates is and it's very accusatory without any substantiated evidence for what his definitions of even of which is, right? Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out again. If you want to partner, you want to support the mission here, Patreon is the best way. 10 bucks a month, get all kinds of exclusive products, that kind of stuff. All right? Love you guys. Peace. Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to check out some of the links in the description with some free resources, including a master, my habits course that I put together with my Christian therapist, Dr. Rudy, as well as a free niche training if you're looking to get into the Christian YouTuber space. And check out some of these other videos from me and YouTube recommended to you. All right? Peace.